Sean O'Hearn. We'll get things started in penalties for Georgetown. Outstanding game at left back here today. Shooting for the Hoyas, number four, Sean O'Hearn. So it's O'Hearn against Shuttler. Confident penalty, good way to get it started for Georgetown by the left back, Sean O'Hearn. Everything you could ask from the first kick from the spot, and his hips close quite rapidly here. Watch him come back across his body, a lot of momentum. That's a beautifully taken penalty put right in the bottom corner. Yeah, didn't re reveal much there on the run-up. And with his hips, as you mentioned, Devin, now Joe Bell will come up for Virginia, the talented midfielder. Big Flint, he's made this walk twice now. That, that's a mind game you start to mess with. And for Romero, you have to second guess as well because he alters which direction he goes with his penalty taking ability. New Zealand international, Joe Bell, steps up for the Virginia Cavaliers. Against Romero. penalty it's ice cold from Joe Bell no matter how many times he walked up to it it is 1-1 after round number one Riviere to step up now for Riviere for Georgetown It. Strokes it in with his left foot. Georgetown two for two on penalties. Look at the amount of momentum behind this one. Ball doesn't even move. And that's just so difficult for the goalkeeper. It becomes a guessing game at this point, and Shuttler just goes the wrong direction. And boy, he's got to feel really good about their chances. You can feel the momentum in this stadium. They, they feel like this is within their grasp. Daniel Steedman. The tying goal in the 58th minute, very talented. Steven, he goes high over the top of Romero. We're getting an exhibition of penalties here, no matter how fatigued people are. Gelden it's 2-2. Two, two. Gelden Batch on the sideline is going to be holding his breath. That's old school David Beckham right down the middle, just blasting it up underneath the crossbar. Jack Beer now for Georgetown. Up next for the Hoyas, number 11. Jack Beer. Remember, he took an entire season off last year. And now finds himself taking a penalty in the national championship game. It'll be Beer against Shuttler. He picks out a corner. Everybody perfect from the spot so far. This is the best one of them all. Watch how square he is on the run-up to bring it back across and not give anything away at the beginning for the goalkeeper to have any inkling as to which direction you're going. That's a beautifully taken penalty. So Donaciano okay, now Virginia. will step up for Virginia. Georgetown, a perfect three for three. Donaciano to keep things even here in the third round. Against Romero. Donaciano's penalty is a beauty. Donaciano's attempt is good. Six penalties taken, all converted. Dante Polvara. The freshman from Pleasantville, New York. During the season, one for one from the penalty spot. This is a freshman coming up to take a penalty. The freshman 
converts. Ice cold penalty jumping off his right foot. And it flashes past Shuttler and goal. Colin Shuttler starting to dial in right now. Still a phenomenal penalty. Tucked away. Goalkeeper tries to get those big outstretched paws onto it. And the belief from all of the boys, even Derek Dotson on the sideline, they can feel it. Andreas Uland now. Freshman from Norway. Will step up. Virginia to keep it tied in round four. Big step, places it right in the corner. What an exhibition of penalties here in Cary, North Carolina. These boys are on another level. Look at the confidence to just have the tiniest bit of little swag behind yourself. Romero has no clue. He's going either direction. He can't figure it out. We keep going on like this. We may have to have fans take penalties tonight to determine this from both the Cavaliers and Hoyas. J.B. Fisher for Georgetown. Oh, he got a hand on it. Shuttler got a hand on it, still goes in. Fisher converts. The pressure now on Virginia. He said he's been calibrating. Look at, there's a tiny hesitation to the right. He felt like he had it, and he comes back across the left-hand side. Watch this right knee. Ah, right there. If he comes left initially, they're out in front. But advantage, Hoyas. Nathaniel Crofts now has to convert. Save or a miss. Georgetown are national champions. Five rounds. Ice cold from Nathaniel Cross. Romero okay. went the right way. Daniel Wu, who scored his first collegiate goal from Cary, North Carolina to put Georgetown up two to one in the first half against Shuttler. Oh, his score! So much for my theory of fatigued players missing penalties. These boys have been through this before. Are you kidding me with how good these penalties are? Each and every one showing you so many different looks, but executing to the highest of importance. Beyond impressive. Sophomore, Brett Halsey. Outstanding as a right back for the Virginia Cavaliers to step up. He must convert. Halsey against Romero. Oh, he got a hand on it. It also goes in. We are tied after six rounds. 12 consecutive penalties completed here. They're, they're starting to get it. They're reading the hips appropriately, getting to the right spots. It's that half a step that's got to be a bit quicker to help put your team out in front. Aiden Rocha, who came on in overtime, had limited minutes. He is a freshman. Rocha has scored. Takes it with great confidence. Georgetown continuing to keep the pressure on Virginia. Axel Gunnarsson will step up now for the Cavaliers. This is the eighth round. Gunnarsson from Sweden. Save, it's over! The Georgetown Hoyas 
have won their first ever national championship. What a moment for the Hoyas. It's the first national championship for Brian Weiss and this program. You don't want to put blame on anybody whatsoever, but look at how straight on this run is. To push it to your right is really difficult to do, so he's telegraphing the fact that he's going to come back across his body. When it comes to momentum, unless you're going to put this on the ground, if you're going to go for power, you know that it's coming back across the hips. And Glenn, the biggest question we had coming in was could we question Brian Weiss and his decision making in terms of goalkeepers rotating all season long. That man right there, Tomas Romero, finishes this season off with an exclamation point. A freshman who's had experience at the USL Championship professional level comes up at the highest of stages to give his boys the national championship.